wangu mahali hatuwezi afford hata food ya ku ya ku buy so naambia mungu mimi nikaambia god if one day hata tutoke hivyo tukose Hi guys nina coach ndani ya Jalango TV Jalango TV number one online TV na kuna story tuliifanya ya Cecilia na wase wengi wakakamna questions more about Cecilia so for us we had to come back na kupitia alituambia story so tulikuwa tunaenda kuangalia deep things question because he alikam kusema story so kuna zile vitu lazima tunge follow up about kama una therapist about what family member things and that's why nikaamua kumuita tena kwa set kutumulize kuna few question tunafatumulize tujue because the time alikama alikam tu kutuambia story so now tunataka kupata details about after all this story what's happening kwa life yake Cecilia niaje poa sana uko fit yeah, so after story yako wasema wamekuja wakasema you are cloud chasing uh, mara hii story si kweli mara they don't believe anything you are saying at there's nothing like that can happen to human being okay i think umepitia comments so what do you think about people wanasema una cloud chase okay one thing acha nikwambie one thing i don't go through comments i don't sijawahi enda through comments na kama ni ku cloud chase naweza tafuta story nyingine ya kukam nayo unaona siwezi kama na story ya kusema niliingia kwa church ya devil worship hiyo kulala na spirit kulala na mwanaume like in the in the past before ninge kwa hiyo church hakuna mtu anaweza kama ki cloud chase na such a story because it many it many life yani life yangu like it's not the same again unaona so my story it's a live story ni ya ukweli mm. wow nice one so for you uko na family members uh, uko na close friends So after his story kwenda viral because his story imekuwa kila pahali hata vile tulipost wasema wamekaa wakiongea sana watu wa family yako wazazi ma brothers ma sister close friends wanna think about you aje like wana kuonaje wewe as Cecilia okay like the first story na ilikuwa hata viral ilikuwa last year January na kuanzia hapo so like my sisters my parents my aunties cousins my friends watu tulikuwa tunafanya nao kazi wali wali watch unaona like all the people like i was dating kila mtu wali watch unaona like 90% walitoka hata ma sister zangu wakasema hata ni waka, mtu anakuambia na ni sister yako real usoi nipigia simu usoi sema wewe ni wetu unaona like my dad ameniongelesha after almost one year because alisikia alisema uh, yani mtoto wake hazifanya vitu kai so like ame yani ame disown like me see wake sasa unaona but later ame come kuniongelesha if it's all about friends me I don't have friends unaona like unaona place unaishi like plot hiyo story watu wanaijua hizo story watu almost watu wengi wanazijua unaona so mtu anakuona like when the worshiper ni kama mtoto wake akikuja kwako unaweza unaweza muua ama unaweza mkula ama anaweza fanyikiwa na vitu kai so unaona like ukienda mahali tu hata hata kwa matatu tu mtu ananiambia unakaa familia kuna jina yenyewe huwa wanatumia unaona like hiyo story ime imeharibu life yangu hata i wish singe share hata si hapa kwa jalas kitambo singe share yeah nice one so i think na mom ama uko tu na dad like me my aunties my cousins mom peke yake ndo mom peke yake kwa familia mzima i have seven sisters and one brother but mtutu amesimama na mimi ni mom peke yake okay. mom hata nilikuwa namwambia mom naenda kushia story yangu mahali fulani mom hakuwa na shida but huko ushagosi watu wanaiona hiyo story watu wanampigia yeye hey, mtoto wako ni wa devil worshipa anakula watu wamekufa analala na nyoka yani hata wasikizi wao wanasoma two heading unaona like it ruin the whole of my life yeah Hasa mimi have another question. Unajua uli, kwa hii story umeongelea vitu mingi sana. Umetaja watu wengi sana. So, uh, kwa wase wote au jipata threats ati mbona umetutaja? Mbona umesema hivi? Obviously kuna wase umewataja kwa hii story ukituambia. So, ujipata any threats from ours? But okay, kutaja like si, nimetaja mtu kweli? Mtu mtu personally. Sijataja mtu. No, like tuseme kama kuna msiana anakujua na alikuwa kwa hii story. Like tuseme hizo church pastors wanakujua? 
pasta pasta yeah. nanijua but because of niko kwa public aizi ongea because ako na ile uoga pasta huyo huyo pasta je iongea wa wafuasi wake ndo wa main ifikia wanajaribu kuniambia Cecilia pasta anasema unamwaribia jina mm-hmm. afadhali basi ungekaa mumwambie mimi sasa unajua singeenda kumwambia unaona but sijai pata threat unless mtu ulikuwa na deni yake ama kuna mtu mwingine na kuanga na deni yake ali alinisema mimi hiyo case nilisema niko nayo kotini unaona sasa venye aliniona kwa media akajua niko nape sasa huyo mtu anipeangi peace mpaka leo amenipigia mimi na mimi kwa kwa jealous na mimi nataka pesa yangu unaona mtu kwa sande anaona like ama ukiona deni ya mtu huwezi huwezi kaa nayo hata ya nyumba unaona because mtu asha kuona kwa kwa media sio anajua uko sawa but kama ni ule pasta ama mtu yote sijai pata threat yeah so uh, history yako yote na ukakuja uka expose kila pali na i think watu wamelearn wengine bado wa believe do you have any regrets kukam kusema hii story kwa public kuambia wase do you have any regrets we ku, kutoka yeah. na kusema yeah 100% i regret kama ningejua kitambo mm-hmm. singeenda kuongea hata kama ningeongea ningeongea vitu tofauti lakini ni same about church unaona because the place yenyewe watu wa believe ni church unaona because like simi si easy date hakuna mtu anaweza nipenda unaona watu hawezi nipenda Hakuna mtu anaweza kaa tu naye kuvumilia akijua heading zenye hata nyinyi mmeandika heading poa kuna watu wameandika heading mbaya sana mtu hawezi lala na wewe akijua hiyo heading hakuna mtu anaweza kutembelea kwa kwa like me mimi uka peke yangu most of the time na mtoi wangu tunaka hapo mimi na niko kwa simu yako kwa tv because like everywhere kila mtu anakuangalia tu ni kama wewe si mwanadamu unaona so for me even ku lose my family yani unaona like juzi sister zangu walikuwa wame meet ushago i'm not sorry to say this hata waki watch mimi sikuenda unaona because financially sikuwa na do unaona but because wame niona kwa media wanajua niko well up nikukata na kataa kuenda and even after that they care less usipokuja ukuje mimi ni kama mtu wanani, watu wananionanga kama devil worship unaona ni kama mtu naabudu shetani so like even if me sit up hapo kwa familia people don't care my family don't care hakuna mtu yetu anashughulika na maisha yangu like our, yani like they give up on me because of the story you know na mm. wow so umese, umesema mtu hii so uh, anataka kujua story ya mtu hii are you close with the dad ama mtu hii anajua baba yake yeah mtoto wangu hata wa media zote nimeenda sijai danganya mtoto wangu anajua babake babake ni babake tuliachana 2017 na babake anamsaidia anamsomesha anamlipia fees by then anamlipia shule very smart ba na hananga issues hata baba mtu wangu vile aliona hiyo story alinipigia akaniambia hey i wish ungeniambia unapitia hizi vitu zote ningekusaidia juli mtu ako financially stable na ni mtu okay about mtu hii yeye ako sawa anasaidia mtoto wake wana wanaweza meet waonane like mimi si shughuli kange na hiyo mm. but baba mtu wangu ako sawa anasaidia yeah, anasaidia despite ako married ame, alio after tumeachana but ana, ako sawa yeah shughuli hata hiyo story hata imsumbui hata nishie nishie mpaka bbc yeah anajua tu it's part of life yeah so uh, unajua saa zingine tu, kuna zile vitu kipitia you need to see a therapist a counselor unanipata ama hata uh, according to you that this thing is spiritual unanipata lazima pia kuwe na mapasta unaongea nao like like wana ku lead kwa jani yako ya ya yeah. salvation na nini I, have you seen any therapist ama pasta ama counselor sijai sijai ona mtu like uh, hata ndo nilikuwa na kuna media nilienda ya kikuyu nikajaribu kusema nataka mtu atani cancel like because kutoka story nilitoka prison sikupata mtu wa kuongea na yeye nilinyamaza pia toka pia nikakuja nikapitia hii church ime hii church ndio imearibu life yangu almost 90% imeniharibia unaona so sijai pata mtu akuniongelesha na ukipata mtu anakuongelesha ni mtu anakuripisha unaona like you cannot afford to pay unataka yani nimekuwa nikitafuta mtu atanisaidia hivyo tu free anisaidie aende aniongelesho juu kitu bado iko kwa mind haijawa itoka vitu mingi sana ziko kwa kichwa yangu mpaka sasa Mm. So if you, if you tuseme tupate msia pa Jalango TV anataka kuongea na wewe anataka kuna counselor anataka tu ku, kuongea tu na wewe pasta anataka kukulid ku, kwa jani yako uh, unaweza kubali siwezi kubali ya pasta a pasta because i don't believe in pasta so na, unaona nimepitia shida kubwa sana na pasta i have my own pasta mwenye anani, ananisaidia anglican huyo ananisaidia mambo na god unaona because me I give me who give up na Mungu sana like mi kuna time na kaanga hivi naona ni kama hakuna Mungu most of the time but mtu akuniongelesha about life i'm very much okay but not a pastor so tunaweza peana namba yako yeah mtu counselor yeah so tubas tupea namba yako director make sure umeka 
uh, namba hapo ya Cecilia at least kama kuna mse hapo kwa comments ana feel kumsaidia kuongea naye uh, ani ampeleke through the process of therapy kunini kurudi back to a normal person tafadhali utampigia kwa hii namba hebu tupe namba yako 0799171683 sasa so nataka kuuliza another thing so uh, after history yote this story sharp nimepita have you ever plan like umekuwa na mtu mna date after history ama kuna plan yako ya ku get married after all this because sharp pita si ndio mm. so what's your plan like marriage relationship kitu kaiyo okay for me i got no i got no plans for me i'm not thinking of even dating for i think nimekwambia hakuna mtu ataka nawe na coach hivi na story yako anaiona na youtube unless iko deleted down na yezi kwa deleted unaona because stories imeja kila mahali na hakuna mtu ataka nawe bila kukuuliza there was a time i tried like dating last year but unaona mtu anaka mtu anakuuliza lakini ungeniambia nyoka ilana na wewe aje kwanza niambie hivyo unaona utamwambia aje na hai, na si kitu ilikuwa real alafu mtu ananiambia ati ati, ati count ni count ya wanaume ulilala nao hiyo ni midi nasema hivyo count ni wangapi niambie yani unaona sasa hizo masolika hizo siwezani nazo so for now mimi naji najaribu vinye mimi nitajisimamia mwenyewe mimi about dating marriage hizo zitakaa hata kani 5 years hmm. so wewe uko tu sawa hivi vinye uko hmm, niko sawa ah sasa so uh, after story yako inaenda kila pali Uh, wewe sasa una survivage like uh, unajua sasa ukienda hata sasa hii ni hard sana kuambia msee ati nisaidie kazi nini una survivage wewe kwanza na mtoi unajua one thing nili unaona hiyo story yangu vile ilikuwa shared media for the f- mimi si kwa na share nisaidike ati na do but after ku share nilijua hata afadhali ningeambia watu wanisaidia na pesa because it may come like hata mtu kutumia pesa kwa mpesa na kuogopa like Sijui kama hiyo na heading mali pengine heading mbaya sana. Mtu anaona ni kama akikutumia hiyo pesa ita ni, ni kama ni kama yani pesa inaenda kwa mtu mtu mbaya unaona. So but kuna ile tu like kuna watu wali come through last year mtu anakaa anakuambia nitakusaidia mtu ako US nitakusaidia mtu ako hata ako Nairobi unaona. But mtu anakuambia kama unataka nikusaidia nitumie picha yako ukiwa naked. Namwambia mimi siku hizi nimechange sifanye vitu kama hizo. Wewe ni mtu mwenye anakupea do free ma like 5k but mimi naona sasa hii pesa ni mingi mtu mtu ana insist lazima unitumie hiyo picha ama unitumie yani nitumie tu picha yako kama una nguo hata uko chini nitumie picha yako unaona so mi nashindwa because like my story kwa kwa public na pia nime change but mtu anakuuliza kama unataka nikusaidie kwani ni wanamu wangapi umelala nao na unakataa kunyonyesha hiyo mwili yako unaona so hiyo mtu ana disappear hivyo mwingine anakukatia kama hujakubali anaenda hivyo hata hizi kusaidia but ku survive we survive to yani hata sijui naweza sema nini because yani kila kitu ni hard kila kitu ni hard like hata tushazoea hata naambia tu mtoto wangu tukiamka na mwambia mama usijali like tusijui usijali vitu zitakuwa tu poa sindi sisi mtu like unaambia mtu sisi yonge so take to time ya to say okay kuna tissue director unaweza pata tissue sita sadie ni Unapata unaambia mtu 
kuna watu wenyewe nimesave namba za unaona like after what come through in my life naona like acha nirudi back kwa mtu nimwambie na mwambia tu si unisaidie tu hata hata sitaki pesa si uniambie tu niende mahali like najua ni mtu tu ako na do Naambia mtu naambia mtu tu si unisaidie tu hata basi niende mahali kwa duka nikutumie pay bill number unichukulie hata kama ni unga mbili mchele unaona mtu ananiambia yes i can do it for you right now i have the money but send me the picture oh no, ni mtu alisema mama mimi in the first time so na ananiambia tumie picha ya boobs nione alafu nikutumie do unaona namwambia siezi tu mapicha yani hiyo kitu hiezi kama siezi siezi pata ni kitu such things but mtu ana insist nikikata anani block naenda kwa mtu mwingine na muomba mtu ananiambia sisilia kwani historia yako ina trend kila mahali kwani watu hawakusaidi unaona like tusha nishazoea kupitia hizo vitu ngumu kama ni baba mtoi wangu ako na pesa but hizi tusaidia na food yana analipa tu fees peke yake anasema mia vitu kaa hizo kama kama ni hao like nao atujailipa kiateka hataki kujua ananiambia sisida si nimeo hata alikuja kwangu asubuhi akaniambia sisida si niona story yako jana ilikuwa shared mahali kwani hizi vitu na share hazikusaidiangi na mimi nikimuelezea namwambia mama kupata kazi kwangu iko ngi rahisi but kipata don takusaidia. Sasa ananiambia itafanya hivi. Sasa leo ameniambia asubuhi. Mimi ile kitu nitafanya sisi mimi na kuhurumia, but ile kitu nitafanya nitafunga urudi kwa hizo media wa, waambie nimekufungia nimekufungia nyumba. Mimi nanyamaza. So like we are used kukunywa chai yenye aina maziwa na mtoto wangu. Unaona? Tuko used kukula tu like kuchemsha hata rice. Na sasa hiyo ukiingia kwa media stories zako ndio zina kila mtu ameweka story yako. Unaona? I want to make a story sometimes mimi nawaambia acha yenyu sasa before that kuna watu mimi nawaambia simu nisaidie basi hata mpin link ya YouTube yangu ndo watu at least wan support YouTube yangu yanze kunilipa mtu anakuambia ni sawa ukisha share story inaisha hivyo so sisi tunakuwa tu hivyo na hard time sometimes hadi shule teacher ananiuliza eh hey, mama ni si mtoto wako ana complaining like every day because mtoto wangu anasomea shule expensive shule inalipa more than 35k per term unaona ana ana kila kitu expensive but mtoto wangu kupata tu kitu ya kubeba shule hivi hakuna because nime struggle for almost one year and a half everything in a try inaenda down kama ni youtube inaenda down unaona so mpaka juzi nikasema like me for me i don't believe there is god because hata na regret sana mbona nilienda ku mbona nilienda kuokoka ile kanisa ya kwanza juka singeokoka singepitia hizi shida zenye ninapitia right now like kila kitu ni inaenda tu negative kila kitu na mpaka rejection wow so Cecilia pole i think tuta tuta tutaika hapo uh, direct kupin uh, link usahau kupin namba ya Cecilia at least kama kuna wasio anaweza come through kumsaidia uh, at least m support because it's it's a very painful process because wasi wengi ni hard sana watu kukubali uh, ukienda kushare stories uh, ka story kama hii so wasi wana feel maybe unadanganya but deep down before wanaweza kusema mse anadanganya mse ni muongo wana cloud chase tafadhali ungekuwa we feel ungekuwa kwa hiyo issue ya mse then kitu imekufanyikia real but wasi wanasema ni uongo unge kuna filaje so before we want to control mse kumwambia hizo vitu zako ni uongo unamtusi wewe yake kwa hiyo situation how will you feel when someone saying that oh ni uongo ni nini so unajua tu watu wengi wanapitia vitu mingi but so, some of us think is a joke tunaona tu ah maybe ni cloud chasing so guys before we want to judge mse usi yake kwa shule so sisi sisi tunamalizia so do you have any hopes for the future and other things ya mtu hii kuna mtu hii one day ana smile again having a smile back ama msi akupe job do you have do you have hopes like i did say my last video about job i have no hope because nimesha try watu wanakuongelesha mtu unaenda kwa boss boss anakuambia kwanza umpe hiyo story alafu tena anakuambia wanakuuliza about nyoka sana unaona kuna hata juzi last year juzi iki, karibu ishe nikaona nika hey, hemi mimi nimeteseka sana acha niende nitafute kazi hata kama ni ya club restaurant nikaenda juizo kupata ni rais unaona huyo mtu au oh, watu wanakaa tu akikuangalia hivi au mnafanya nao kazi wanashinda tu akikuangalia hivi 
yani hawako ni kaweni mtu wa ukweli wana hadi wanaenda wanaanza kuvio hizo story mwenye ajui wana, wana pass hiyo story kwa kila mtu until ile day niliambiwa siwezi endelea na kazi until father notice juu tu ya hiyo story unaona like about future me have okay me for me i don't have hope because yani hata nikwambia na coach nimepitia vitu mingi sana mingi mingi sana kwanza after after yani nimejua kuna god because me in the first life mimi nilikuwa mseni kwa poa nilikuwa naishi poa nilikuwa naishi maisha poa mimi si kwa yomba mtu hata mia by the way sijawahi mimi ndio huomba pesa but vitu nimepitia like mimi na mimi huambia god hata hata leo asubuhi nimeambia god so mimi nimeambia god like god mimi na ku trust si sifanyi mimi sifanyi dhambi like hizo kubwa za sexual sin sifanyi hakuna kitu na jin involved na yonaona but things are worsening every day so mimi nikaambia god if one day hata tutoke hivyo tukose so ni unajua ni kwa nini because una ukiona kaa hiyo nyumba lando dasha kupea warning kiateka i mean kama ni nyumba mkiingia hamna hamna hizo vitu mnataka unaona kama ni tukiana tukiana bali na mtu wangu juu most naenda na mtu wangu mahali hatuwezi afford at food ya ku ya ku buy so naambia mungu So, me ni make give up. Actually ni make give up. Na in a day mimi hata nipate tu tumelala, tujamu kana mtu wangu. Mimi nitakuwa comfortable. Because nime believe in God, nime fast. Hakuna kitu ina, ina change in my life. So that's how it is. So me sile mimi za kwa advice tu because me me go church. Na sometimes uh Bible inatuambia guys sometimes you go through hard things but God hajakusahau. Sawa sawa. So nikieza uliza hii swali mtu akitaka kukufungulia ka biashara ufanye because umesema kupata job ni hard ndio So mtu akitaka kukufungulia biashara unaweza kubali at least biashara na joni yako pekee yako na Iran So mtu akijitolea hapa Jalango TV hata kukufungulia biashara unaweza kubali kufanya Eh hakuna siwezi kata juu nishapitia kutosha unaona mimi siwezi kata Hakuna kitu sahihi nimekata yani mm. Wow so guys I think mmesikia story as it's uh, it's uh, such an emotional story because the first story we uploaded uh, and watu wameona sana watu wameongea sana but the only thing to say if you guys are ready mnaweza kama um support at least because kupata job imekuwa hard so come to mum support hata fungue business yake tuone venye tunaweza msaidia tusikue tu watu wa kuongea ongea then you are not helping sawa sawa so guys nina coach ndani ya Jalango TV usahau ku subscribe usahau ku comment usahau ku like we are done